Just got back from uh, picking up some supplies, some wood frames, got the truck loaded, water, and I got some new fencing in there. About to build a new enclosure for that new animal. Stay tuned. Keep I'll uh, keep you posted, you know. We got a new animal coming. One that I've been waiting on for a while. One that's gonna complete the JG ranch out here. So I'm excited. I had to get the fence all built up. I got I got the barbed wire, but I still didn't buy the thing to cut the barbed wire. So I should be having a lot on my plate all the time. Mm-hmm. But just getting home. Unloading the truck. Just uh, getting all dirty before before the action. JG Ranch, we out here, man. Just uh, taking care of business. Got all the animals back there waiting on me to get over there. It's got a lot to get done real quick. Got full water tank over there. Need to transfer the water into another jug. Or fill that wheelbarrow up over there. And then I could uh, wheel that over there to the to the animals and fill up all of their water buckets. That's my new, a new bucket too. A new bucket for the for the new animal. Nice uh nice size uh, bucket. See if you can guess how many gallons goes into this bucket right here. See if you can guess. Leave it in the comments. Mm. But, uh, I need to get these back um, little stands off of here. And once I do that, I can get to the fence in there. Then I can get to the pallets and then I can get to the water. Which that's what I'm trying to get to right now is the water. So I can get everything filled up. Which they already got water. But I just um I'm about to take a trip to Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm going to Vegas. So I need to make sure everybody has more than enough water and plenty of shade so all these little little things are going to come in handy got to stay tuned to see what I build with these I got all my different woods out here all my different woods I got more pallets and stuff on the truck but you can see a couple of shelters in the background over there. I built out of pallets. So I'm gonna see how big and what we could build with pallets. I'm gonna take you on this journey. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a craftsman with some wood. And I, I'm collecting wood right now. And uh, the more I have, the more different things more options I have to build. Okay. Now, 
a nice sturdy fence. This is uh, 300 and 330 feet. Oh, oh, oh. That little, that thing is heavy. <laughs> uh, may have to get a, uh, may have to get something to help me push and move this around. <laughs> This thing is heavy. I think I remember the last time I just laid it on on flat like this, opened it up, and just kicked it until it rolled out. So just gotta get it to where I want to build. Which I have a lot of options to put, you know, the new enclosure. But Still don't know yet. That's why I'm back here to observe the area and see exactly where I want to put the new enclosure. I like to have it close and I like to have it to where um, I can see it right out of my window. Oh, that, that is a heavy, sturdy. Sturdy one right there. Love it. Little bit of manual. Uh. Uh. Mm. Luckily, these uh, pellets aren't too heavy. But I'm getting excited for my Vegas trip. I'm going to the rodeo, the black rodeo. <clears throat> PBR, baby. So, I'm going to be around animals. I'm going to check some animals out. I'm going to check some cowboys out. See how they do their thing. Roping and wrangling. You know? So, so it should be fun. Should be fun. I'm going to take, take my oldest daughter. Show her, show her what the rodeo is like, you know, a piece of that ranch life. <laughs> she lives in the city with her mother. <clears throat> so she hasn't really got a bar of the ranch, uh, ranch life yet. So it's going to be fun for the both of us. I've never, I've never been to a live rodeo, so I'm excited to go to the live rodeo, you know, fresh to death, you know, how we gonna do it, we gonna step in there with the style and the grace, you know, 